Hey, welcome back to Triple R. Today it's going to be Triple R versus collecting. Uh, ran across this article, most valuable action figures of all time. Of course, I collect a lot of stuff on my channel from my collections. Uh, this was by Eric Atloff uh, recently in September. I'm working money site. Uh, so first up, number 30, 1978 Star Wars Death Squad Commander. Yeah, no kid cared about this character. I don't think anyone does now. Death Squad Commander doesn't even have a name. <laughs> and uh, that's a terrible screenshot of the guy. He does have the stupid Spaceballs helmet. Uh, it kind of looks like he might be a manager at your local Wendy's. Yeah, no no one was like, please let me get that Death Squad Commander this Christmas or for my birthday. No, no. $6,500. So, this video is to reach out to collectors and be like, make sure no one pays that <laughs> ever. Because that's just insulting. Well, a lot of this list will be insulting. Um, there he is. Look at that. Screams fun. <laughs> yeah, look at that detail. We'll just paint some. Uh, <laughs> let's paint some colors right here and um, give him a gun at least. But this face, talk about. I mean, looks like a Dollar Tree action figure. It does. All uh, right. Next is silver C-3PO, which is made out of sterling silver. So there's that. Uh, not worth the price tag of sixty-two hundred dollars to me, and plus C-3PO sucks. So there's also that. I never liked him. Thought he was annoying. Um, I guess he was a little bit of a comic relief, which I'm never a big fan of in action. Um, yeah. So ridiculous, dumb. Star Wars Celebration exclusive. Yeah. And produced by Lego, so that's going to up the price anyway. There he is. Silver C-3PO. Um, I don't know. I got Amazon up over here. I'm just kind of looking at different things. Uh, let me see if there's a Lego C-3PO. Lego C-3 Oops. P-O. Yep. You can get a C-3PO and R2-D2 for 20 bucks, or just him for 14 bucks, or 10 bucks, 8 bucks, down to 8 bucks. Yep. And there's a gray one for $8, $8.99. So, if you get some silver paint, spray paint them, call it a day. Or you could shell out, what was it? Yeah, $6,200. All right. Number 28, Anakin Skywalker, terrible art, uh, the Power of the Force series, came with these coins. I do like collecting, like, the coins that comes with, like, action figures and stuff like that, and, like, DVD sets. I don't know, I think they're pretty cool. Don't have that many, but I do like them. Again, I don't think this is a big hit of a character. <laughs> it's in it for two seconds, and, yeah, $7,500 for this, and let's see, did he remake Anakin Skywalker? Uh, how much does he go for now? Skywalker, I guess, what was that? Old man. Uh, I'll put a figure here. Alright, of course, Anakin, uh, Hayden Christian comes up. So we don't see him. Uh, Return of the Jedi, maybe. Nope, we'll find them. So maybe I'll bring up eBay. Let's see if the guy comes up on eBay. Power of Force. Uh, nope. But that line doesn't seem to be very expensive. What's out here? So it might be rare, but who cares? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I don't think he's like a big on anyone's list. In my opinion, um, if I'm wrong, let me know. 
And the Barbies, I can't comment too much on. All Barbies kind of look the same to me as far as like the molding and stuff. It's just different outfits and um, I guess there's different skin tones and stuff, which is, which is fine. But $8,000 for a toy that can just look identical to something you get now? Yeah. It's dumb. 77 early bird certificate package. Um, I'm sure we've all seen the toys that made us. Talk about all this stuff and how you know do preset pre order and all the crap. So the early days of evil pre order. Um, yeah, again, nine grand is ridiculous. So I had these as a kid. Um, I think his paint chipped off pretty easily. Of course, these telescoping lightsabers are really stupid looking. That's right, so they're stupid looking because they are. They're very dumb looking. Um, Probably the best figure here, I don't know, maybe Leia. I don't know, they had those stupid coats that would fall off and you would lose all the time. So, yeah. Muppets collector set. I don't collect any Muppets. Uh, if I did, it'd be like um, Animal and then maybe Oscar off Sesame Street. I think it's kind of the same universe, right? Um, I guess maybe the entire band of Dr. Teeth and <laughs> Electric Mayo. But anyway, or the old guys. But $10,000 for all of them? No. Dumb. Uh, a Muppet goes for... Let's see... Muppet... Action figures... Uh, look about the same size. I'm not exactly sure. Of the size differences here. Diamond Select Toys has them for 24 and that looks like they're two packs, so so fifty bucks. I mean, times that probably not going to be ten thousand dollars. So, <laughs> unless you get Electric Mayhem, Kermit, all those guys. Uh, I don't see. Yep, there you go. Uh, Statler and Waldorf. Let's see. Uh, they're going to be a little more expensive, maybe. They're just out of stock. Nope, they are more expensive. They are. About seventy dollars, so which is still pretty dumb. But it's <laughs> nowhere near ten thousand. So these boxes, I do like these boxes though. I grew up on the Muppet Show, and I remember the logo there. All right, seventy-eight special action figure set of Star Wars villains, and look who it is. <laughs> yeah, no. You obviously can get a Stormtrooper, Darth Vader, and can you get a Death Squad Commander? Let's see. Star Wars Death Squad Commander. Then Squad. <laughs> hmm, that's a cooler looking one for like 14 bucks. Uh, from the uh, black series, six inch or 19 bucks. Uh, this one's in box, and he actually has some gear, a holster, still has a stupid space ball hel uh, helmet, and uh, it's like a belt. And the molding is about a hundred times better. So, if you just look up Death Star Commander Star Wars, it'll come right up. Um, I had this Vader as a kid, has some stormtroopers. This helmet is <laughs> huge, <laughs> looks kind of stupid. Uh, these capes were horrible. Like I said, they would come off. You lose them again. Very dumb looking lightsaber. Ten thousand. No. Uh, I guess the best one out here is course Vader. You know he has like a a raincoat on. More C three PO. Gold. Uh, far east talked about silver I feel the same way about this one so I don't know how much gold is made out of I mean, it's complete gold so maybe 14 karat looks like so maybe whatever the going price of gold is we'll put a dent into that a lot of Star Wars on this stuff <laughs> on this list Empire Strikes Back medical droid FX 7 yeah I could see maybe why people would want him uh, definitely <laughs> over the Death Star Commander um, still, almost 12,000, so let's see if he exists 
these days. Uh, what is he? Medical droid. FX seven. Uh, let's see here the magnets. Uh, hmm. I don't see one offhand. There's a collectible here, unboxed for fifty bucks. It's a brand Kenner, so it's probably from like the re-release, like Power of the Force or whatever. So looks exactly the same. Yeah, except uh, it might have a red eyeball here. It's hard to see in here. Dumb price. I was a huge Boba Fett fan. Still like Boba Fett. I know there's a Mandalorian craze and all that junk. But I always liked him when he appeared in the series. Um, but yeah, 12,000. And I, I did a, was it Force Link? Came with a Han and a Boba Fett to look great. It looked really good. Uh, I believe probably a little bit smaller than this one. But obviously, a Boba Fett. Um, what a bunch of different pump effects to come up. Uh, vintage, 30 bucks, 3.75 uh, scale. So, so I think these were the same scale, about 4 inch. But there's tons of cool Boba Fetts you can get for not $12,000. They look better on your shelf. You won't be out twelve thousand dollars being ridiculous. <laughs> um, if you want, you can pr print that backboard these days with some, you know, photo paper. That, that price, that seems right. That seems right. So, definitely one of the better looking figures of that line. Has some detail. But yeah, if you go to Amazon, look up Boba Fett, it's going to be tons of better looking, way cooler. Because I see this on your wall, and be like, you're an idiot. <laughs> Unless you got a really good deal. I'm like, oh, you know, but then you should probably sell it for a uh, question. I'm not going to get 12000 what do you get? Your, your best bet would be maybe eight, right? Find another sucker. Um, what is this? I don't even remember seeing this when I went through this list. Yep. So limited. Looks like they're easily, easily replicated. But they are, I guess, what? Precious metals. Carrot gold, silver. 12 gram. Get your certificate. Oh, it's Lego, of course. Yeah, that's right. What makes it so valuable? Yeah. Actual gold is valuable. Uh, Babe Ruth, Farland, I'm sure, hey, you know what, what's this, 13, let's go, look, that's a Babe Ruth, I'm sure you can get a starting lineup, it's cheap, yeah, um, uh, the same, well, not the same line, but him, making another one for 65, starting lineup, 26. Well, 27. Yep. 13,600? I don't think so. Yeah, this, see, this stuff really, it just bothers me. Because look how stupid this looks. Look at it. The best thing about this whole thing I'm looking at is this logo. That's it. It looks like a big box of disappointment. <laughs> <laughs> if you're like you're a kid, you open it up like, oh, I got a Batman. Uh, let have a symbol. He's really out of shape, very out of shape. Batman. I guess he can. I guess he's limber, right? <laughs> um, Fifteen. Uh, whatever. It's dumb. I'm sure you know a Stretch Armstrong is probably like twenty bucks. And you probably just get a cow in the cave if you need to. Put it on him. Call it a day, and not spend fifteen grand. 
15 grand. Now this, I'm sure people will, will definitely disagree with me on these. I think Legos are pretty cool for what they are and what they can do, but I'm not a fan of how they look completed, what they're supposed to look like completed. It does look like Millennium Falcon, yes. It has Lego dots all over it, so it's not very slick to me. Um, looks very, more just like a toy toy. 16 grand, $16,000, no, no. Um, now Falcons are usually pretty expensive anyway. So if we go, oh, yeah, Lego set right here. So the newer Falcon, which looks like crap, so <laughs> doesn't look good, but still that's almost, it's 450 bucks. Um, we have the classic one here for Ultimate Edition, which is 800 bucks. It's still way cheaper than this. Which is, uh, I mean, Lego, that's probably an extra 100 bucks because it's Lego. Yeah. No. I like G.I. Joe a lot. I had a lot of G.I. Joe as a kid. Uh, I try to collect cool ones when I see them. Uh, the prices are right. This don't know anything about this line. Never heard of it. Um, maybe that's why it's so rare for twenty grand. And um, but <laughs> I don't know. Like if I saw this someone's wallet, like is that a knockoff? Like oh, I paid twenty grand for that. Like oh, good job. This is who is this? Vortex. What's the name Vortex? I mean, I don't know, it looks like a turtle based maybe so vortex I think a speed not really a turtle maybe it's not a turtle he has extra arms here I don't know if you guys know who this is or what he is let me know yeah a man of vortex <laughs> all right we got a couple more here it's like a oh, he's a werewolf um, vortex just vortex uh, zigzag here what kind of bug like a snow alligator, that looks like a predator, and we got a, what, a slither. Okay, I don't know. These are stupid looking. Well, I can't say they're. If they weren't attached to GI Joe, it might be okay. If it's his own thing, maybe. Huh. <sighs> Gone over how I feel about these <laughs> um, action figures. Let's see. Let's see. I have a Luke Skywalker. Yep. So four. Mm -hmm. Of course, there's a bunch of other cooler Lukes. I'll uh, probably type in a new hope. All right, so we can get the Black Series for 35 bucks. Of course, with a way better looking lightsaber. And looks like um, cloth material, which is nice. Uh, I don't see this size offhand. So we may again be a, actually a little more rare. $25,000 rare? I don't think so. I right, don't check eBay. Encounter 2004. It's about 25 bucks with shipping. 
and a better lightsaber. Doesn't doesn't look good though. It's not very good. It's not good either. So this one I guess a little more rare. Well, they're all rare because they're on this list, but like as far as like a duplicate. But even this is a better looking figure than this, so I'll just eBay it. Star Wars, I guess I could repeat myself, but I'm not going to. <laughs> yeah. There's I don't need to tell you you can look up Darth Vader and find multiple Dudes of cool looking Darth Vader's. Like, yeah. Don't need to spend 30 grand on this old Vader with a terrible lightsaber and his raincoat. Don't know who this is. So, if you want to spend 35 grand on whoever this is. Hmm. Yep. Yeah. Uh, okay, whatever. Based on a comic strip. Alright, G1 Transformers. Very cool. Of course, G1 Transformers are cool. And they have some stuff that looks similar out now. Uh, the World Cybertron stuff looks good. In robot form. Uh, some of the vehicles. Eh. Yeah, hit or miss, but I think the main thing is to put them in robot form. Uh, like I just saw Ultra Magnus and Galvatron is at your local Target for around 45 to 50 bucks. Uh, of course, uh, the big guys make a supreme. These guys go for a little more. There's knockoffs you can get for Devastator on Amazon, you know, from overseas. So I don't, don't know how they look in person, so I can't comment on that. But um, I did have Ultra Magnus as a kid, which I liked a lot because he was bigger, bigger figure. Still, 40 grand. For all these, no. I've seen a Metroplex for like 400 at the last like con I went to a couple years ago. All right, getting down to the top ten here. Droids, Vlix. Has he ever came up in any of your Star Wars conversations? Probably not. <laughs> Probably not. Yep, yeah, and yeah, look at him. It's horrible. Kind of reminds me of a video game called Tongue of the Fat Man. Dumb. Obi Wan. Yeah, I can see why people would want that. Oh, how much is Blix? Blix is 60 grand. Obi Wan, $76,000. Yeah, no. And I'm sure you can find a. A newer one looks just like or better, almost always better. Yeah, this lightsaber can also come out a lot of the of the holder here, so that was always annoying. And Boba Fett talked about earlier. Oh, rocket firing Boba Fett. Sorry, right. Quote time. I'm sure there's something like that now. 150 grand. Yeah. Um, Barbie again, don't know anything about. Uh, the price was 161. So this has diamonds in it. That's kind of dumb to put in a collectible toy. Diamond, nah, it's a teddy bear. I don't know, you take a teddy bear, get some expensive diamonds, stick them in the eyeball sockets. There you go. All right, same thing. And then maybe a gold medallion. G.I. Joe prototype. So it's just a worse looking figure than the produced. Yeah. 200 grand. Stupid. More diamonds. I mean, if you stick diamonds on something, <laughs> it's kind of up the price, maybe. Uh, and then we get into where probably people collect what I collect are like, what is this? Nobody cares. No one knows what this is. And here's some kind of steampunk looking creepy doll. Lazy Leo doll. 
6.25 million dollars yeah whoever buys that for anywhere near that should be like slapped daily very very hard forward slap and then backhand slap maybe one in the morning and a slap at night I don't know this list is so stupid and the way collectibles work gets ridiculous there's plenty of cool looking things that the genre you like even the he-man stuff looks really cool I'm not gonna collect it tempted but personally I don't like playing full price paying full price I like trying to get a deal that's kind of the point of my my collecting but I've said it before everything's a waste of money unless you enjoy it right so if you have these funds I don't know you still shouldn't do it because it, it kind of hurts the other collectors of course maybe you don't care but like you know get that NES closed in box game just to have it closed in the box is dumb because <laughs> you're just buying the box and the art if you're never going to open it or use it you can just download the art and post it maybe even a better version of the art in HD so on and so on there's a lot of bad decisions made in there I think that company hot toys like the Marvel statues and stuff are like 500 400 bucks um, they're cool they're not that cool deep down you know they're not that cool and you could just get a, a top-of-the-line action figure versus that so but again it's a personal choice I think this list is ridiculous um, and paying that much money in it, into it does hurt the industry for people in it well not the industry the collectors the industry loves it right because they try to sucker us out of money that's their that's their job yeah but these are all very lame I don't want to talk about that Superman so like the Falcon I'm not sure how big this is but oh yeah, my goodness Batman well thanks for watching Triple R have a good day or night wherever you are